Kia ora koutou. We are at a big moment in the realms of COVID response as the nation prepares to shift into the new COVID-19 protection framework. We'll all know that better as the traffic light system. For those within the Auckland boundaries, that's going to bring a lot of benefits. The opportunity for people to go back uh, to work, for businesses to function more effectively and community activities in general to restart. For the church, the great benefit for us is that we can again begin to gather people for corporate worship, something we've longed for um, for many, many months now. Alongside that benefit comes a challenge though, because in order to do so with less restrictions, we are going to need to use the COVID vaccination certificate system. It's a requirement for gatherings of any size but also for those who are the staff at gatherings, our workers. The structures within which we'll have to work are going to have implications for people to be vaccinated in order to lead and run gatherings such as we are used to. And as I've said, the opportunity for reasonable numbers to come will depend on running events where vaccination certificates are presented. It brings a challenge for us because it means that we are going to have to say to some people, who have not been vaccinated who, or who will not present a certificate that they are unable to take part in some of those events. That's a theological challenge for an organisation like ours that seeks to offer hospitality and welcome to all. And so we've got a lot to work through as we determine how it is that we continue to be the body of Christ, involving all, reaching out to all with the love of God. Our vaccination policy is currently uh, being sent out to clergy and to our governing bodies of ministry units for consultation so that we can come to as fair and workable a policy as we can about how we are going to manage these things. So your prayer for wisdom for us all as we work through that is, is much appreciated. But in our hearts, let's also have that thankfulness to God that amidst the challenge, these wonderful opportunities lie ahead of us once again, and particularly as we appear, uh, prepare for that great festival of Christmas. What a joy it will be to have people in sacred spaces of worship offering their praise to God for the coming of Christ.